So the society that I'm now president of, um, Division Five, is the mm -hmm. Society for Quantitative and Qualitative Measurement, and the quantitative side of it is the that's the single part of APA that is most likely to be full of the personality type you just described. The um, so the um so unfortunately the window of my my presidential year is already closing um but if you think about whether you would have any interest of doing a webinar to to mm -hmm. introduce the concepts of wikidata and the um something in this space like a, a 50 minute webinar oh. um one of my one of my presidential initiatives is to try to get the division to do um, two webinars in this coming year to stick a toe in to figure out whether um, whether they want to keep doing it as a way of bringing in revenue. So this division five is one of the oldest, very prestigious, very broke and the um and the membership is aging they're trying to figure out how do we stay relevant how do we get new members dues are the main way that the organization has been staying afloat um mm -hmm. so so what i was going to do was go to the to the people that already have been doing workshops and ask them to do a couple would you consider doing one and and have a chunk of the proceeds? Oh. Um, but the but that but percent. In fact, this is uh, already. Uh, I was already thinking about this from a different point of view. Do you, um, do you get involved at all in Open Access Week? Mm -mm, haven't heard of it. Uh, so Open Access Week is just a yearly thing that universities and particularly university libraries. Um, uh, get involved in, which is just trying to educate faculty about what open access is as a general concept. Um, and for previous years, it has been very much focused on just getting faculty understand what is an open access journal? What's the difference between gold open access and green open access? Why should you care about open access at all in the first place? Um, and it's now branching out a little bit this year into some open access related things. And so one of the things that I am doing for the Australian um, uh, contribution to Open Access Week is um, an introduction to Wikidata for academics, scholars and um, faculty. So I'm already putting together the beginnings of a, um, the beginnings of a uh, workshop for th this exact topic. So actually this, this dovetails really well where I can make a version of it that is all um, uh, psychology um, examples and resources and you know ways to get involved in that sphere sold the um so so go ahead and have that as a use case as you're working on it um and let me let me know I'll, I'm, I'm actually going to pitch that to both organizations um and so we we may wind up with it co-branded and uh um but that that would be brilliant but the but the big win would be putting these ideas in front of the um the introverted tech nerds of division five yep mm -hmm. yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. um yeah to totally on board with that um and i'll find some nice examples to use um so yeah I thinking about both uh, pharmaceutical and behavioral interventions uh, or you know psychotherapeutic interventions as well as tests indications the disorders themselves related concepts around them there's all sorts of stuff that can be done in that space hmm. so um, um your your name has come up a couple times in the household as well. My younger daughter is the one who's currently a statistics and economics and chemistry 
um, and neuroscience. She's got some sort of, like, Carolina probably will only let her graduate with a double major, but she's on track to finish um, a chem minor and the other three majors. But, um, but very, very interested in pharmacy, very interested in, so she's like, sometime put me in touch with Thomas. I would love to find out about research opportunities in La Trobe or the, um, she's been looking a little bit at what, what you're doing. And she's like, he seems like he's doing really neat stuff. Um, so she may, oh yeah, definitely. no, no particular hurry. Um, but the, but just sort of the, she would love to do a uh, uh, study abroad, semester abroad or an internship and, uh, mm -hmm. um, and you, you have interests in a lot of things that she's interested in that I don't know that much about. <laughs> yep. yep, that can, that can definitely be done. And I would say that, I mean, uh, excluding the the current uh, extenuating situations, uh, Melbourne is a great place to to study abroad for an internship. Excellent. All right. Well, I'm sure you had something else you were going to try to eventually do Tuesday, but this was outstanding. Uh, this has been this has been really good fun for me as well. So I've been uh, very happy to. I wouldn't have continued the conversation for as long as I had had I not been enjoying it. So um, excellent. Uh, so that all works out well for me.